So, you've bought an LT1 or an LT4 crate engine, you're swapping into a classic car, and you're wondering how to hook the power steering up. Hello everybody, my name is Nick here with Scog and Dickie. We appreciate you coming back after a short hiatus for one of our weekly tech videos. Today's tech video, we are going to be talking about adding power steering to the Gen 5 LT engines. Now, let me explain that for a bit. If you've found this video, it's probably because you're confused on why you can't seem to find this in an OEM application. Once GM went to the Gen 5 style small block, you know, your 2014 and up pickups, your 2016 and up Camaros, etc. They went to an electric assist power steering. No more hydraulic pump on the engine. This is a good thing. It frees up horsepower. It's better for, you know, gas mileage and emissions. Manufacturers, as always, are trying to do stuff every year to improve on designs, technologies, and efficiencies. And this, unfortunately, was a sacrifice that us in the aftermarket are having to deal with. Now, luckily, GM knows that. So when they released the LT Crate engines with their accessory drive kits, they were already working on a hydraulic power steering pump add-on. So when you do swap that into an older C10 pickup, maybe an S10 pickup, a Chevelle, a Camaro, Mustang, who cares? you finally have a power steering option to hook up to your hydraulic power steering gearbox. Now, let's go over briefly what is included in these kits. The kit that I have in front of me is the Wet Sump LT1. They also make one for the Wet Sump LT4. Before we go any further, as of right now, Chevrolet Performance does not offer one for the Dry Sump LT1, Dry Sump LT4, or the LT5. We're hoping that they will, but as of right now, it's not in the pipeline. So let's cover the wet sump for now, because this is the kits that they offer. What I like most about these kits is you get the great OEM quality that Chevrolet offers on their production vehicles. They also offer it in these bespoke kits that are only meant for off-road and aftermarket applications. Everywhere from factory designed parts, and of course brackets, this is a really nice high quality piece. This is not off of a production vehicle. Again, there was no way for them to borrow this off of anything. This is something they made specifically for it and this is a nice piece. As well as one of the things I always like with GM's kits, they bag the hardware and number it. This is great when you're going through the instructions. And speaking of instructions, I think they have some of the best. Multiple pages that offer picture diagrams and explanations, including the part numbers to let you know exactly what piece to put where. I know a lot of us don't like to read the instructions. You know, we like to work our own way in the garage, but this has come in handy for so many of our customers and for me alike. So you really gotta like the high quality. Now, the power steering pump is a GM power steering pump, but it is special. The pressure inside of these power steering pumps has been regulated down to 1500 PSI. The LS ones were higher. The pulley ratios throw it off, so they regulated it down. Another little detail that GM threw in to make sure that when you swap this in, you're not having to go through any tricks or you know, special parts trying to make the feel of the steering in your car feel right. So that's another great quality here. I would like to add, this is, like I said in the beginning, this is the LT1 wet sub kit. You might be wondering why it comes with a balancer. This is actually pretty trick. The way they solve this is, this is an LT4 balancer. The LT4 kit won't come with one because it it's already on the engine, but it runs the power steering off of the supercharger belt. Pretty nifty idea, actually. It's another way they were able to use some parts to save you a buck and make sure you get a good high quality part. Now there are other options on the market. One of the things I love about Chevrolet stuff is sometimes when you put this stuff on on a classic car or a custom pickup truck and you pop the hood, it looks like OEM did it. And that's one of my favorite things is when somebody makes it look like the manufacturer themselves built it. Like Chevrolet Performance built, built it for SEMA. That is some really cool trick stuff to me. But there's also a lot of really high quality billet stuff out there. Billet specialties. Holly, ICT Billet, and others, they also make hydraulic power steering add-on kits that we sell that add a little bit more of a custom flair to this. So if you're really looking for something trick and custom and high quality under the hood, you can also go in the aftermarket to do different accessory drives or add those on too. I would like to add something. 
because these run off of this balancer, because the belt is a stretch belt that is specifically meant for these two diameter pulleys, if you are running an aftermarket balancer, you might run into some issues getting this to fit right, and you might have to find either a different belt or possibly a different option altogether. So keep that in mind. Depending on how custom you're going, sometimes this stuff is a little bit of trial and error. We really appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. Once again, we are sorry for missing last week, but we're glad that you're back, and we're glad that we could answer some questions here. Once again, Give us a like, subscribe, and a share on both Facebook and YouTube and all our other social media channels. We're always trying to pump out as much information to help you guys. We will see you next week. Thanks for stopping by.